Okay, let's see the Liver King response. This is, again, a follow-up to the big expose from More Plates, More Dates that revealed in, a, in an email that Liver King isn't natty. He was communicating with a coach to get advice on his stack, referring to, like, the HGH and everything he was cycling, it, it be, which is a big deal because Liver King has always defended that he's 100% natural. All you need to do to look like him is follow the nine ancestral tenets. He has a ton of companies, claims to make $100 million a year, but it's all based on being able to look like him through natural stuff, which isn't the case. So this is him coming out about it. Uh, I actually have kind of high hopes. If I had to spitball a guess, I would imagine Liver King takes this directly. I don't think he's going to try and like claim it's all deep faked. He's not going to claim it's reptilians behind the scenes of the puppet master that faked the emails. He strikes me as someone who's going to try and take it head on and just hope that the majority of his audience doesn't care. That's my guess. Finally, I'm making this video to apologize. Because I fucked up. Is it kind of quiet? Because I'm embarrassed and ashamed. Hold on, it's kind of quiet. Mm -hmm. Jesus, it's still quiet. A lot of people. I've stated that this is a complicated as fuck topic, at least to me it is, because before social media, I was rich and anonymous. And after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous. And I never expected this kind of exposure. That was very frank. Public eye. That's what I mentioned briefly in the, in the video. Way before he was the liver king, he was still super rich. Like he was still very rich. You keep saying turn it up. It is maxed here and I'm not going to blow out my earphones here by turning this to 100 because this is going to be the only video that's this quiet. World of Warcraft would actually deafen me. It's maxed on OBS, it's maxed on here, and it's at 82 on my computer. You're just going to have to deal with it. Just turn up your volume a bit. It's been tricky as fuck to navigate. Well, clearly I did it wrong. And I'm here now to set the record straight. Yes, I've done steroids. Classic YouTuber Psy. Yes, I'm on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves. The 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves are people are hurting at record rates with depression, autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition in life. This is all very sweet and everything, but you, you deliver a message and then sell products based around the message, of which you just admitted a large portion of it, your physique, is a lie. Now, if you were just like a motivational speaker or just like a, like a normal YouTuber, Instagram guy who delivers positive messages, that's one thing. You being on steroids and everything, like that's not that big of a deal. But the fact that you constantly defended being natty and sell all these programs based around it and then aren't actually the result of those things you talk about is pretty misleading which he does admit, but spinning it as like this positive thing where I'm only here to try and help all these people who are struggling isn't super genuine when you're making so much money off them. Like you could still just be delivering that message for free. They don't need to like pay for it if your main goal is to just deliver a positive message. The resub Mario in Tylenol, the gift sub system, and the resub Victi, Rip, and Zhao. I appreciate, like, the very upfront honesty. Like, yep, I am on steroids. He didn't He didn't try and tiptoe around it. He just came in there and spread the cheeks wide open and letting us see the filthy truth on it. That's admirable. But this immediate spin about how it's all for the people that are struggling and wanting to kill themselves, that I don't put much stock into when you're making so much money off of these programs. Like, that's clearly not the main goal when you're very much taking as much money for it as you can. Our young men are hurting the most, feeling lost, weak, and submissive. So I made it my job to model, teach, and preach a simple, elegant solution called ancestral living, the nine ancestral tenants, so our people no longer have to suffer, so we can collectively express our highest and most dominant form. This is my fight. This 
is why. That is verbatim exist. what he said to Daily Beast. While spreading the message, I've been on several like a robot. podcasts. And when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always said no. I don't touch the stuff. Not going to touch the stuff. Never touch the stuff. Mm-hmm. That was a lie. Yeah. I've convinced myself that this had nothing to do with the ancestral message. I convinced myself that I'm not a competitive athlete of any kind. So who the fuck am I cheating? I could- You're cheating your audience. I, I'm still early, so maybe he comes to that realization since he prefaces it by saying, I convinced myself, past tense. But like, yeah, you're not competing. You, like, it, you're not going to jail for taking steroids, but you're cheating the people that believed in you and believed in the message about looking like you, or at least something comparable. You, you are cheating them. Which I think is a lot worse than cheating in a sport, to be honest, because you, you are literally taking money from them for a message that, like, the message overall is positive, but you've completely, you, you haven't actually lived it to, to reach your physique. I convinced myself that this topic was a placeholder for a far more important conversation. I convinced myself that this would overshadow the 36 years of working out, usually twice a day, without PEDs. I've convinced myself that this was the vocal minority, usually in the fitness category, driving to an unproductive conversation. And I had convinced myself that this would be the wrong message to send to the 15-year-old boys. So I continually dismissed it. And I dug myself into a bigger and deeper hole. True. I have only myself to blame. I did that. That is and true. It was all wrong. I will be better. Very I will talk front. about it openly because I believe that there's a time and a place for pharmacological intervention monitored and managed by a trained hormone physician. In 2021, when I was 43 years old, I didn't feel 100% physically or cognitively. So I went to get monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician to see what the fuck was going on with my life. And so, yes, it's true. I have tried several peptide combinations in an effort to increase my growth hormone, and it didn't work, meaning that my levels still remained below the normal level. So, yes, it's also true that I've tried pharmaceutical grade growth hormone and I finally found success in managing therapeutic levels in the normal range. Yes. Well, they're pretty high. It's not like the normal range. It's quite a bit. 0.6 cc's of testosterone per week, roughly 120 milligrams of testosterone a week. And no, I don't take any other steroids like Nandrolone or Winstrol, but I have tried them in the past without success. Yes. It's also true that my blood chemistry got all fucked up while taking Nandrolone and Winstrol. My lipids got all deranged. My liver enzymes went sky high, which is why clinical oversight is an absolute must. Nope. The liver... See, like, had his message... Had he come out from the very... The genesis of Liver King, from the primordial ooze of liver and a king, if he had come out and been like, look at this physique... This is not a naturally achievable physique. I am on steroids. And then started preaching his message. I don't think he would have ever had a problem. He probably still would have found a very similar level. Yeah, it just crashed. Did it go fully off or did it just give that like, uh, we'll be right back thing? Uh, okay, the blue screen. Well, that's good at least. At least it didn't go fully off. Thanks to Prime Carsey. We're already kicking ass, already successful before. Damn. Three sub buck. Oh, what a shame. Things are you subcosmic and Katie?
in hundred ping. You remember the take? Oh, uh, I was just saying, if from the very beginning, like the genesis of Liver King, like the prime primordial ooze of Liver Champion, if he had just said like, I am on steroids, this body I have is extremely impressive, but it is not achievable naturally, but here is some workouts that could help you get to there or here's some stuff that might help you in your workouts and then preached his positive messaging and whatever he would have still found success like he still would have like absolutely had a big audience it's just the lying and false advertising like that i don't really see how you just get past that because he sold them a fake image that he told them they could achieve through following him not nearly as much. Yeah, it wouldn't be nearly as much, but at the very least, he wouldn't be lying and misleading his entire audience. But I I did take a peek at the comments. It, it They're all very forgiving of him, which I assumed would be the case. Say like, hey, we don't care if you're on PEDs. We just like your message. So if that's the case, then he should have just been up front from the start and these people probably still would have appreciated it. But if you're going to say, I'm natural when you're not, and then sell programs under the belief that they too can look like you, that to me just screams like scam. Like knowingly just misleading them. He's a prime smoru. Resub Storm, Zombie, Plingo, Balman, Weenie, and Tier 1 Mecha. The resub Robust and Chase. You literally hate on people all the time. What do you do? What I, I'm, I, I am literally giving him credit for being honest and upfront. But he's still like even he's literally even saying I lied to all of you. What what are these brain dead takes? Like I feel like the only people I ever like talk about negatively are like actual awful people, like scammers, or pedophiles. What are you talking about? What the fuck? Thanks to the Prime Alchemist and the Resub Chase. Yeah, I feel like Liver King's just living in the past where everyone was demonized for using PEDs. I feel like in the modern landscape of the fitness industry, like fitness influencers, most of them are super open with PED usage. I think most people know the majority of fitness influencers are on some level of juice. And they're okay with that. So there's no reason to just lie and mislead the audience for so long. Like, there just really wasn't. Thanks for the bits remains. No, I didn't see the new Guardians trailer. Growing at 50% year over year and still growing at the same pace after the Liver King public figure. <laughs> Thanks to Tier 1 Layton. I've never had ab implants, ab etching, or any other plastic... Cap! Cap! Damn it, I... You're, st you're lying to me. I, this is ab etching at the very least. There's no shot? Unless that HGH is working overtime. Because he even has like a little HGH bubble gut. It's not like a super protruding one, but he does have like the signs of an HGH bubble gut. And he's admitted he's on it. There's no way the abs would look like that while sitting down. Impossible. Oh, did the volume and everything reset? After the crash? Yep, you're right, it did. Okay, there. I sure as fuck never actually had gene editing done in Sigma 4. I made all of that up. It was all intended to be a joke, and that's an expression of ancestral tin and tin. Have a little goddamn fun. Ultimately, why did I, or why do I do them? Well, it's not a when hard question. When I talk question. about the 85% of the population that suffers from self-esteem issues, that's me. I'm part of that statistic, 
This is why I fucking work myself to death in the gym. This is why I do 12 to 15 blood burning workouts a week just to feel like I'm okay. Still, I have to absolutely crush myself to do so and I'm wrecked physically and cognitively and hormone replacement has helped in a profound and significant way. And still, I believe that the path to paradise is paved in fucking hell. I previously have said in a weird way, I'm grateful for the recent events that have shed light on this complicated as fuck topic. I knew I needed to take this opportunity. I just don't think it's complicated. That's He's probably being very honest about self-esteem issues. That's very common when it comes to bodybuilding. But it's also not hard to understand why you would take them in his position. He needs to stand out in the fitness industry. Well, how do you stand out in the fitness industry? You need to carve out a niche. Well, with so many fitness influencers out there, it's a saturated market. What niche? How about something primal? Something like very old school. Paleo diet was huge, so why not something even harder in that realm? And I'm going to really need to look super special to stand out. So, you turn to enhancements, like HGH and everything. It's a pretty, like, easily understandable reasoning for taking it. Of course, self-esteem probably does play into it, because body dysmorphia is so common with fitness. But I think probably the main driver, especially with the emails makes it sound like it was a manufactured idea from the get-go. I need to get super jacked. I need to be super standout-ish. So I need these pretty impressive stack to do that for my business. Seems more like a business decision. But I, of course, I do imagine he's being honest that there is a self-esteem element to that. But it absolutely, undeniably, was the main reason his brand was so popular. To openly discuss everything for me to be a better human. If there are any questions that remain unanswered, send them my way. I fully own that I fucked up. I am as sorry as a man can be. And all I can do is take extreme ownership right now, be better, and lead myself to a better life as a better human. Again, thank you to everyone for the support, the criticism, the love, the hate, and above all else, the loyalty. Never king. This went about how I expected it. That was like the most no-nonsense kind of thing ever. I do think he's minimizing the magnitude of misleading people when you run a business like this. Because you're selling them a false idea. And you continue to lie about it. I think that's a much bigger issue than he's letting on. Or maybe he doesn't realize how scummy that is. But overall, it seemed like he accepted responsibility for all of his lying, which is a good start. He didn't try and put that blame elsewhere. He didn't really try and deflect it. So overall, I think that's about the best he could have done in that situation. But he he really needs to address, like, hey, like, I know I fucked up in a big way, and I am sorry that... A lot of your money went to this, knowing full well you would never look like me. But hopefully my advice helped you somehow feel better, or maybe some of my workout advice helped you look a little better, even though it'll never look like I do unless you take my stack. So, he, he downplayed that quite a bit, but it wasn't, a, it wasn't a horrible apology by any means. Thanks, a resub. Bood, Sting, Marcos, and the tier one, Demizi, and resub Charles. And the bits, teach on butter and terrible. What would you go, where would you give that on the apology tier list? Well, my apology tier list was mainly which was the most entertaining. This is like very straightforward. It had the classic YouTuber apology size, but other than that, like. It, it, there really wasn't a whole lot of goofiness or silliness to it. There was no theatrics. So on, like, my apology tier list, where I rated S tier as, like, this shit made me laugh, his would be, like, a C tier. Look at the resub chromosome. A new amnesia game was announced today. Oh, that's pretty cool. You think he's going to keep using it, or will he quit? And what's your guess on how much muscle he'll lose... He's not going to stop using it. Uh, I still think, even though his audience, judging by the comments, is very much on his side, 
if he didn't look like this, they would probably stop watching. And he knows that. So he's not going to stop. I think he's just going to be more open about it. I think that's the only path forward for him. But I, I don't see a world where he stops using. But to answer the second part of that question, if he did stop using, how much muscle would he lose? Fuck. <laughs> like, 60% probably. It'd be a lot. <laughs> <laughs>